بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويلكم تو جراماتيكال ستراكشر اي هوب يو انجويد اول ذا بريفيوس ليكتشر ذا انتروداكتوري ليكتشر نمبر 1 نمبر 2 اند نمبر 3 اي هوب يو فاوند ذيم فيري ايزي اي هوب يو فاوند ذا بوك باي ناو اي ريسيف ماني كويستشنز اباوت ذا بوك بيتر يو فايند ذا وان وذ ذا انسرز to help you do all the exercises not all of them it's very difficult to do all of them but uh, at least to do as many as possible um, today we are going to continue talking about the verb tenses uh, today we are going to talk the present progressive or continuous uh, I explained it very briefly last time and today we are going to reinforce Uh, explanations of the present progressive uh, you already uh, have taken this um, in, uh, in schools and last year but uh, we must um, uh, uh, reinforce as I said we must talk about it so we uh, finish the chain of this course this course is Uh, is about connected topics so we cannot leave one uh, and uh, talk about the other uh, however we are going to skip some uh, some units uh, and important units we cannot cover ho the whole book the book is very rich with information very helpful very good but we cannot um, Uh, cover all the units because uh, for time limitations for practicality uh, things for uh, uh, you will not be able to uh, comprehend the whole book so better we focus on uh, some aspects of the book some units of the book and you understand them better than just giving you uh, uh, huge amount of, of information uh, I'm looking for quality rather than quantity so let's continue talking about the present progressive so the present progressive as I said we talk about something that's happening now again to the timeline so anything that's happening now is present progressive or present continuous I am Standing, I am talking. Uh, after a while, I'm going to. Uh, I am going to eat. Uh, 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 I am holding a pen. So everything that's that's happening now, in front of us, while we are talking, is present progressive. Uh, so we are going to talk about the present progressive uses, questions, negative, and some test-taking strategies how to answer some test items uh, in the final exam I am going to show you some examples some samples of the final exam uh, for those who uh, is not following my English uh, when you see verb to be you have to think of ing It's like a rhythm, it's like a music. When you see verb to be, you have to think of ing. And they said, you have to think. So here, you have to think. It's not a must. It's not something mandatory to do. Just try to think. So when you see verb to be, verb to be, the family of verb to be is... Um, R. This is where to be, and then we have was and where. We need to think of ing. When I when I see in the sentence he is, and then a verb, I have to think that. Well, is this sentence present progressive? So I add ing. Try to do it very quickly. This is very helpful in speaking. Because when you, when you speak, we don't have time to think. But try to be quick when you speak. Uh, I am sitting. Well, yes, because I'm talking about something that's happening now. Did I say I am sitting? No, sorry. I am standing, not sitting. So this is the structure of the uh, present progressive. We have a noun or a pronoun. 
noun like Ahmed, Khalid, Maha, uh, Dalal, uh, etc. Pronoun we have he, she, it, they, we, you, are, and then verb to be. This is verb to be, is, am, are, was, were, here, and then a verb plus ing. So verb plus ing. Majid is playing tennis. Sarah is sleeping. Uh, as far as these things are happening now. So this is the rule of the present progressive. I am, you are, he, she, it is, we, you, they, and then verb. V means verb plus I in G. And I think this is uh, very easy to understand. And then, interrogative, how do we interrogate, how do we make a question? It's very easy. We move verb to be to the beginning of the sentence. We have I am eating, it becomes am I eating, uh, you are eating, it becomes are you eating. Is he, is she, is it eating? Are we, you, they eating? Very, very simple. So in the, final, in the final exam, when you have a sentence like this, and you have four choices, choose the one where the verb to be is in the beginning of the sentence. And how do we make a sentence? Uh, negative in the present progressive very easy we add not after after verb to be or we add the contracted form uh, which is uh, the n and the contraction and t it becomes you aren't or he isn't uh, we aren't or it becomes he is not we are not I am not and uh, as I said last time, uh, the contracted form is used mainly in speaking. Uh, the full form is used in the uh, uh, in the writing. We have sometimes what is called signal signal words. What are these? Signal words means words that help us in uh, choosing the the correct answer or in knowing whether the sentence is in the present simple or in the present progressive uh, so we, if we have in the sentence now or right now or an imperative look listen be quiet for example or at the moment these are uh, some signal words that usually used in the present progressive. So, uh, uh, all the time or most of the time, we see these signal words uh, are used in the present progressive. So, in the exam, uh, if you want to decide on the sentence whether this is simple present or present progressive, look at these signal words and they will be very helpful what am I doing or what's he, what's he doing I am reading and then here we have uh, what are they doing they are boxing what's he doing he is cooking what's he doing he's doing judo What's he doing? He's a driving car, is it? He's driving, yes. Uh, what's he doing? He's falling down. What's she doing? She's playing golf, I think. Yes, or he is playing golf. I thought it's uh, she. Uh, what are they doing? They are playing. Yes, they are playing hockey. Uh, what's he doing? He is looking. 
he's bicycling I think he's riding a bike uh, it is smelling or it is eating what, what are they doing they are shaking hands uh, she's skateboarding lifting I think she's or he is weightlifting he is playing rugby he is typing or working on, a, on the computer uh, she is or he is serving or when serving and here we have his serving uh, they are singing and here we come to the test taking strategies what I mean by test taking strategies are little tricks or little strategies to help you uh, reach the correct answer so let's have number one the boys to the gym every day so we have every day we think of the simple present so we have going now go or goes so go and goes are uh, present progressive but which one is the correct one the boys we have here uh, plural the whole gem the boys so it is go the correct answer so by just some logical thinking we reach the answer so we have here a signal word every day present simple so we do not use ing so we we are left with go and goes go is the correct answer <clears throat> Sari is to the radio right now ah, we have right now we need to think and we have where to be we need to think of what of ing so what is ing here with blind eyes with closed eyes we choose listening why because we have right now and we have where to be so we need to go to ing mubarak and huda we have here usually usually is a, sig uh, a signal word for what for the present progressive so ing now this is not correct we have visit and visit do we have one person to choose visit now we have two persons we have mubarak and huda mubarak and huda so we choose visit is the correct answer Salem Alexis car is it drives driving drive we talk about a fact he has Alexis car so he drives Alexis car we have one person so it is drives the verb with s it's not driving because we are not talking about something that is happening now and we have no verb to be we don't have is here so uh, it is um, drives it's not drive why because salem is one person when we talk about one person we use the s ream to a new house moving is moving move uh, so ream move no it should be moves if it is the correct answer so it is not so moving no when we use ing we need to use verb to be here there is no verb to be so this is the correct answer Reem is moving to a new house Jamal at 9.30 p.m. Mm, this is talks about something that is happening every day so it is the present progressive so it is not ing it is not a verb without s it is sleeps why because Jamal one person we a new house we a new house we buy a new house is it something that you do every day every day or every year or every month so it is not a habit to say we buy a new house it is grammatically correct to use we buy a new house there is no wrong but the meaning is not correct you cannot uh, have the sense of buying a new house as a habit so it's not a habit شراء البيت ليست عادة أو حاجة يومية نسويها we a new house we buy now 
we do not use s with we so it is we are buying a new house it means uh, we are in the process of buying a new house maha as a manager well this is something like a fact so it is uh, it is not ing uh, it is works why because we have s because maha is one person so this is the correct answer uh, I drinking milkshakes I liking well I this sentence is is about what is about a habit something that you you like or you don't like so liking something is a habit so it is not ing it is not likes because we don't use the s with I we use I like I like is the correct answer well uh, this is the end of uh, today lesson uh, just to recap that the difference between the simple present and the present progressive is in the time of happening if we talk about uh, uh, something that we do every day something that is like a habit something that that is like a fact we use the uh, simple present which is we add s if we talk about one person we add nothing to the verb uh, if we talk about more than one person uh, on the other side <coughs> sorry if we talk about something that's happening now as we speak uh, in the time of talking about or describing the the event or the action we use, we use the present progressive which is a uh, verb to be i n g he is playing she is driving we talk about something that is happening uh, now uh, again for the book i am uh, stressing that this is your book understanding and using English grammar we, we want to understand first and then after understanding we use uh, the uh, correct grammar inshallah uh, it is the fourth edition with answer key as I said it's very helpful to you يساعدكم كثيرا انه يكون الاجابات موجودة عندكم اتمنى لكم التوفيق وشكرا لكم جزيلا thank you very much all the best